When we talk about pollinators, one or a few species that are used commercially come to mind. However, there are many different pollinators, but populations of many species of these wild pollinators are in decline. An additional problem is that many citizens are not aware of the enormous diversity of pollinators. One of the objectives of the Life for Pollinators project is for citizens to learn to identify some species of pollinators. For practical reasons, we have decided to group them into what scientists call functional groups because they behave in a similar way in flowers. Next, we are going to show you some details that will help you to differentiate the different groups of pollinators and the type of flowers in which you can see them. We will start with one of the easiest groups to identify, the Lepidoptera, which in turn are divided into butterflies, which are active during the day, and moths, which are active at night or at twilight. Diurnal butterflies are characterized by having slender bodies and two pairs of very colorful wings. With their long proboscises, they can easily reach the nectar hiding in tubular flowers. The moths fly at night and the coloration of their wings is much more discreet and inconspicuous. But they are very efficient pollinators of flowers that are open at night. Beetles, despite their clumsy movements on flowers, can also be efficient pollinators on many types of open flowers that offer abundant pollen as a reward. The main characteristic of the beetles is their hardened and brightly colored front wings, called elytra, which cover the abdomen. Although many of us do not like wasps because of their carnivorous habits and painful stings, the reality is that they are also efficient pollinators of some plants with open or easily accessible flowers. In addition to its bright colors, its most visible feature is the narrow waist that separates the thorax from the abdomen. There is a group of flies that mimic some bees or wasps, but they don't stink. They are hoverflies, so called because they often hover in the air. They can be differentiated because they have large compound eyes, there is no marked narrowing between the thorax and abdomen, and they only have one pair of wings, which are usually longer than the body. In case you didn't know, they are one of the most abundant and efficient groups of pollinators in many plant species. You have to pay close attention to flies because there are other types of flies. Yes, you heard right, flies called bee flies that mimic hairy bees with a hairy covered body and a very long tongue that allows them to efficiently visit tubular flowers. They also have many spots on their wings that help identify them. Finally, we are going to show you the bees which constitute the most abundant group of pollinators in Mediterranean environments. You can easily tell them apart from the flies that mimic them because bees have two pair of wings, longer and tiny than flies, and smaller eyes. There are bees of all sizes, with a lot of hair and with little hair, fast and erratic flight, or slower flight. Due to this diversity of forms and behaviors, you will surely be able to see them in many different types of flowers. Now you know that there are many different types of pollinators and that, due to their characteristics, they can be grouped into what scientists call functional groups. Dare to identify them.